So hi again, we have reached exercise 2, which is about to calculate the length, the number of occurrence, and the 21st uh, string. So uh, we need to write a program that uh, reads a line, so the line uh, should not exceed 200 characters, and we should store it in the txt variable, and then we need to display the length of uh, the string, uh, the number of uh, e contained in the string, and the whole uh, sentence or so we see display the whole sentence with, without changing the content of the variable txt so the string should remain the same however we need to display it in backward and the whole sentence backward but we, uh, we should reverse the uh, string first so and this is an example so let's start so we need to uh, use a variable called txt and its size is maximum uh, 200 so we'll have here size uh, 200 and then, so we need to uh, uh, read the string. So uh, let's say, for example, print up, enter the string, and we will use scan f percentage s and txt without the uh, address. So then, and we need to display the length of the string. So we know that uh, uh, the length. Uh, we could use uh, string.h and use the function strlm, however, we will not use it here. So, in order to count the elements of the string, so if, we, if for example, we are uh, using this example, so here is a small sentence, we know that the last character here is a backslash 0, so I need to loop over the string in order to find the backslash 0, so in order to loop, I need a counter, and I will start from 0 till I reach... Uh, backslash zero so i can either uh, write it like this or i would say that as long as the xt of i different than backslash zero however uh, the compiler knows that uh, if i omit this it means that the xt of i different than zero so what i will do that so i can also declare uh, l which means the length of the string so l equal to zero and here i will do l plus plus however when we when we here when we end the for loop we will notice that l plus plus is the same as i plus plus because i started from zero l starts from zero and then each iteration i'm incrementing i and incrementing l so there's no need for l because the length would be equal to the i so in other words there's nothing to do here so i just put a semicolon so then i will print f the length of let's write the string in between a double quotation is equal to percentage d backslash n so the first one is uh, uh, the txt and then is i so you need to pay attention that uh, we are using a, a, a double quotation and we know that printf the first argument of printf is also takes two backslash uh, two double quotation so i need to use escapes here in order to not uh, the compiler do not mistake with these double quotation so let's take an example so let's move to the interactive console so let's run so i'll enter just a, a, a couple of words so hello it's not writing still not writing so hello hello how are you so the length of hello so you know because we have used a, a, a space and we know that scan f takes just a space so uh, it, it's right it's equal to five so however so it's a good example that we cannot use scan f in order to read a string and we know that in the course in order to read a string i need to use gets so it means get uh, get a string and now we'll repeat the entry so i need to use string because it's not defined in uh, studio so it gets is duplicated okay it's not a big deal hello how are you so now i have all the length so hello how are you so it, it counts 20 characters and it's all right so let's move now to the second part. So we need to count the number of E in the string. So we can either do it here. So I can again loop over uh, the string one more time. And 
here I could uh, check if the x t of i is equal uh, to e. So obviously we'll not do that because I've already looped once. So I, I will not loop a second time. So this is not uh, good. So I need the number of occurrence. So I would declare n b occurrence. So obviously the number first it's equal to zero because there's no e's yet in uh, the uh, string. However, here I will check. So if txt of i is equal equal to the character e, so we use a single quotation. I would increment the number of occurrence. So I have in the same loop counted the uh, length of the string and I counted the number of occurrence of e. So again print f the number of occurrence of let's use here percentage uh, c n is equal to so first we have the character uh, e so it's e so we should use a, a single quotation because we are displaying a c so if i place here e it means e it's a variable and there is no declared variable here so let's rerun this example. So again, I will use uh, a hello. How are you? So we have 20 uh, character and the number of occurrence of E look well is uh, how are you is equal to 20. So no, it's not equal to 20. Uh, we should write here number of occurrence. So let's read them again. Hello. How are you? So I have missed the A. It's okay. So the number of currents of E and so we have one and two. So just equal to uh, two. So we have done the second part. The third part, the whole sentence, we should display the whole sentence backwards, but without changing the content of the uh, variable txt. So let's do it here. So how can I display this sentence in reverse order? So I need to start from the last element and go backwards. So I know uh, uh, the index of the last element, it's already in i. So I need to loop from i backward till equal to zero. So what I can do that, I can use uh, 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 another variable to loop. So for example, I can use j. I, I would say that j, it will be equal, uh, it will start from i minus one. And then I will loop, so as long as j is greater than 0, I would display the elements. However, I would use directly uh, uh, i. So as long as, so what I will do that, as long as i is greater or equal than 0, I would print f, percentage c, and here I would uh, display txt of i. And of course, I need to do i minus minus, so I can uh, do that. So if it's too difficult for you to embed all this stuff, so you can either write it like this. So you print the xt of i, so you print the index of i. So however, here we have 20, so we need to start from the xt minus 1. So we can start from minus minus i until we reach... Uh, zero. So whenever we can uh, reach zero, it means that I cannot uh, print minus one. So this is it. So let me repeat. So we, you can use, if it's too difficult for you like this, you can use another variable and you will start. So this is uh, version one. I will write version two. So in version two, I will have j would be, uh, that would be equal to i minus 1 because i is equal to 20 here so and the last index is 19 and i will repeat as long as so j would go down to 0 so as long as j is greater or equal to 0 i will print f txt uh, of j so percentage uh, c you can you, uh, you can uh, print f or use uh, put char txt of j and do j minus minus this is an option too. Or you cannot use an auxiliary variable j and stick with the version one. So let's stick with version one for now and see the output. So here I would uh, print f 
uh, uh, the string in reverse. So let's run again. Hello. How are you? We have lost the connection. Hello. How are you? So and yes, we have the uh, string in reverse order look well we have hello how are you in reverse order using just this tiny loop and uh, in the uh, uh, last part we need to uh, display the whole sentence in uh, reverse order however after uh, reversing the order of the character so i need to reverse uh, the element into txt and then display txt so i need to change the content of txt so how can I reverse a string? Uh, uh, so let's uh, take an example. So suppose I have uh, this array. So it's not writing. Now it's writing. So and we have those elements. So I have uh, A, B, C, D. And let's say we have an E. And of course we have backslash zero. So at the end. Whenever I, I need to reverse the string, I need to have in the same array. So this is the same array. So the same size. I will have E, D, C, B, and E. And here we will have the same backslash zero. So we know that the first index is equal to zero. And the last index is equal to length minus one. And uh, uh, we need to do the reverse. So we already done that with uh, a normal array. Uh, when we uh, when we uh, dealt with integers, so here we have the same but with characters So we can just forget about the backslash zero and I need just to swap those elements So we know how to do that. We will have uh, an index here on the first element and an index on the last And what I will do is that I will swap those two and then increment the starting uh, point and the uh, decrement the ending and then again I will switch and whenever I am on the uh, as long as those indices are apart I will continue and when they are equal or they cross in me it means that I have ended so let's start with that so I know that the uh, array starts with zero and I already have the length here which is equal uh, to I so I need two uh, uh, auxiliary uh, variables uh, for example I can use start and end and you can uh, also uh, not use and because already i is the integer so we will start uh, we'll do it with two variables start and end and then i will uh, remove the end part and stick with just i so let's do it here so already we have uh, uh, here uh, used the i because i now is equal to zero so i need the length so i would save the length here because i need it after doing that so now i need to start it would be equal to zero and the end would be equal to length minus uh, one and what i will do that i will say that as long as the start is less than end i will exchange the element and increment both so i need an auxiliary auxiliary it, it should be of type char because i was swapping two elements from the array of characters so x would be equal to txt of start and TS, txt of start would be equal to txt of uh, end mm -hmm. and txt of end is equal to x and i need to uh, increment uh, both uh, increment the start sorry and decrement the end and now after doing that it means that the txt contains uh, the uh, uh, the reverse string so i need to to print it so the string in reverse so directly here i would use percentage s and i will print txt The string in reverse 
let me use again double quotation and this is it so let's run hello how are you so uh, uh, look well so this is the first string in reverse which we have done it one character at a time and this is the whole string in uh, reverse so as I have said, so you can uh, omit the end here because you can use the length. So we can uh, use that. So we can start directly from, uh, we can do length minus minus just in order to decrement by one the length. And instead of using end, I will, you can use length and you will end with the same uh, output. So you can, we, let's start and run it again. So I will not do the bug. I will be running so hello how are you so yes we have the same so okay I have wrote it wrongly here so and this is it for this exercise so uh, rapidly so we have uh, uh, a red string so we, we have used get because you cannot use scan f because scan f stops when we uh, use uh, a space and then we have looped and uh, calculated the length and and at the same time, we have calculated the number of occurrence of the character E. And then we have printed the string in reverse order. So we have started from uh, the length minus 1 and we went back till we reached 0. And then we have calculated the, uh, uh, we have reversed the string into the array and then displayed the array as it is. So you should just here pay attention that you need to keep at the end the backslash 0 because you will be printing the string using percentage S. So it, it's very important to uh, have the backslash, e, backslash zero at its place. However, it will print uh, some weird characters at the end. And this is it for this exercise. Again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.